So we have a question from Sienna who asks, why does the ground on Mars look like sand? And it's a really good observation. You can see this yourself if you look at any of the awesome photos that come back from the spacecraft that are currently on Mars, the rovers, like Opportunity and Curiosity. If you have a look on the internet, you can find these awesome photos. And the reason that the ground on Mars looks like sand is because it really is just like sand. There's a lot of dust on Mars, which we're familiar with here in Australia, that gets blown around in great dust storms. And the ground has been weathered and altered, so you have lots and lots of sand and dust that moves around. In fact, if you have a look at this beautiful photograph taken from one of the spacecraft orbiting Mars, you're seeing a crater called Victoria Crater. And in the bottom of the crater, you're seeing sand dunes, very much like you get in the desert here on Earth. It's because the rocks have been broken up into smaller particles, and that's how you get things like sand. It's called weathering, and it's how rocks get changed over time. And Mars has lots of dust, lots of sand, big deserts, and also rocky areas in the hills. But the rocky areas are harder for us to go to. When we want to send a spacecraft to Mars, we want to land somewhere flat, because that's an easy place to land. So the places we've sent our spacecraft that land on the surface of Mars have been sent to places that are easier to land and they're often the places that are the most likely to be the flattest, the sandiest type places. But that's also because we're looking at places that might once have had water, that might once have been on the coast. And of course if you think about when you go to the coast, those kind of areas tend to have clay or they tend to have sand a lot. So. Part of the reason we get so many pictures that look sandy is because of where we've chosen to go. We've chosen to go to the places that are the most like the places on Earth where there used to be water. So it's partially to do with how Mars works and also a little bit to do with how we've chosen the places we've gone. It's a really good question.